The history of philosophy in Poland parallels the evolution of philosophy in Europe in general. Topic Overview Polish philosophy drew upon the broader currents of European philosophy, and in turn contributed to their growth. Among the most momentous Polish contributions were made, in the 13th century, by the scholastic philosopher and scientist Witello, and, in the 16th century, by the Renaissance polymath Nicolaus Copernicus. Subsequently, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth partook in the intellectual ferment of the Enlightenment, which for the multi ethnic Commonwealth ended not long after the partitions and political annihilation that would last for the next 123 years, until the collapse of the three partitioning empires in World War I. The period of Messianism, between the November 1830 and January 1863 uprisings, reflected European Romantic and idealist trends, as well as a Polish yearning for political resurrection. It was a period of maximalist metaphysical systems. The collapse of the January 1863 uprising prompted an agonizing reappraisal of Poland's situation. Poles gave up their earlier practice of measuring their resources by their aspirations and buckled down to hard work and study. A positivist, wrote the novelist Bolesław Prus friend, Julian Okorowicz, was anyone who bases assertions on verifiable evidence, who does not express himself categorically about doubtful things, and does not speak at all about those that are inaccessible. The 20th century brought a new quickening to Polish philosophy. There was growing interest in Western philosophical currents. Rigorously trained Polish philosophers made substantial contributions to specialized fields—to psychology, the history of philosophy, the theory of knowledge, and especially mathematical logic. Jan Lukasiewicz gained world fame with his concept of many-valued logic and his Polish notation. Alfred Tarski's work in truth theory won him world renown. After World War II, for over four decades, world class Polish philosophers and historians of philosophy such as Wladyslaw Tatarkiewicz continued their work, often in the face of adversities occasioned by the dominance of a politically enforced official philosophy. The phenomenologist Roman Ingarden did influential work in aesthetics and in a Husserl style metaphysics. His student Karol Washtilla acquired a unique influence on the world stage as Pope John Paul II. <laughs> <laughs> Scholasticism <laughs> <laughs> Renaissance Enlightenment <laughs> 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 Messianism Positivism 20th century Even before Poland regained independence at the end of World War I, her intellectual life continued to develop. This was the case particularly in Russian-ruled Warsaw, where in lieu of underground lectures and secret scholarly organizations a Wolna W.S. Zechnika Polska Free Polish University was created in 1905 and the tireless Wladyslaw Wariho had in 1898 founded Poland's first philosophical journal, Szaglad Filosoficzny the Philosophical Review, and in 1904 a philosophical society, in 1907 Wariho founded a psychological society society, and subsequently psychological and philosophical institutes. About 1910 the small number of professionally trained philosophers increased sharply, as individuals returned who had been inspired by Marburg's underground lectures to study philosophy in Austrian ruled Lwów and Krakow or abroad. Krakow as well, especially after 1910, saw a quickening of the philosophical movement, particularly at the Polish Academy of Learning, where at the prompting of Wladyslaw Heinrich there came into being in 1911 a Committee for the History of Polish Philosophy and there was an immense growth in the number of philosophical papers and publications, no longer only of a historical character, at Lwów, Kazimierz Twardowski 1866 from 1895 stimulated a lively philosophical movement, in 1904 founded the Polish Philosophical Society, and in 1911 began publication of Ruch Filosoficzny the Philosophical Movement. There was growing interest in Western philosophical currents, and much discussion of pragmatism and Bergsonism, psychoanalysis, Henri Poincaré's conventionalism, Edmund Husserl's phenomenology, the Marburg School, and the social science methodologies of Wilhelm Dilthey and Heinrich Rickert. 
At the same time, original ideas developed on Polish soil. Those who distinguished themselves in Polish philosophy in these pre-World War I years of the 20th century, formed two groups. One group developed apart from institutions of higher learning and learned societies, and appealed less to trained philosophers than to broader circles, which it if but briefly, captured. It constituted a reaction against the preceding period of positivism, and included Stanislaw Brzozowski (1878–1911), Wincenty Ludoslawski (1863–1954), and, to a degree, Edward Abramowski (1868–1918). The second group of philosophers who started off Polish philosophy in the 20th century had an academic character. They included Władysław Heinrich (1869–1957) in Krakow, Kazimierz Twardowski (1866–1938) in Lwów, and Leon Petrzycki (1867–1931) abroad. All three active members of the Polish Academy of Learning. Despite the considerable differences among them, they shared some basic features. All three were empiricists concerned not with metaphysics but with the foundations of philosophy. They were interested in philosophy itself, not merely its history. They understood philosophy in positive terms, but none of them was a positivist in the old style. Following the restoration of Poland's independence in 1918, the two older universities, Krakow University, Lwów University, were joined by four new ones: Warsaw University, Poznan University, Wilno University, Lublin University. New philosophical journals appeared, all the university cities formed philosophical associations, conventions of Polish philosophers were held, philosophy became more professional, academic, scholarly. A characteristic of the interbellum was that maximalist, metaphysical currents began to fade away. The dominant ambition in philosophical theory now was not breadth but precision. This was a period of specialization, consistent with the conviction that general philosophy would not yield precise results such as could be obtained in logic, psychology or the history of philosophy. A few individuals did develop a general philosophical outlook, notably, Tadeusz Katarbinski (1886–1981), Stanislaw Ignacy Witkiewicz (1885–1939), and Roman Ingarden (1893–1970). Otherwise, however, specialization was the rule. The Krakow School, true to tradition, showed an eminently historical character and produced a medievalist of world renown, Father Konstanty Michalski (1879–1947). The Lwów school concentrated on the analysis of concepts, and in doing so, it considered both their aspects, the subjective and objective—hence, the psychological and the logical. Twardowski himself continued working at the border of psychology and logic, his pupils, however, generally split in their interests, specializing in either psychology or logic. The analytical program that Twardowski passed on to his pupils, and which they in turn spread throughout Poland, was affined to that of Franz Brentano's school Twardowski's alma mater in Austria and to that of the British Analytic School, which likewise had arisen as a reaction against speculative systems. The alumni of the Lwów School entered three distinct fields. Some devoted themselves to psychology, Stefan Blakowski (1889–1962), professor at Poznan, entirely, Władysław Witwicki (1878–1948), professor at Warsaw, partly. Others pursued the theory of knowledge. They included Kazimierz Adjakiewicz (1890–1963), professor at Lwów, and after World War II at Poznan, whose views resembled neo-positivism and who developed an original theory of radical conventionalism. The third group worked in mathematical, or symbolic, logic. The most important center for mathematical logic was Warsaw. The Warsaw School of Logic was headed by Jan Lukasiewicz (1878–1956) and Stanislaw Lesniewski (1886–1939), professors at Warsaw University. The first of their pupils to achieve eminence, even before World War II, was Alfred Tarski (1902–83), from 1939 in the United States, where he became a professor at the University of California, Berkeley. Another pupil of Lukasiewicz, Bolesław Sabachinski the 28th of June 1906 to the 31st of October 1980, became a professor of philosophy at the University of Notre Dame. The Warsaw logic gained a worldwide importance similar to that of the Krakow medievalism. Warsaw was not, however, the sole Polish venue for logic studies. 
They were initiated at Krakow by Ivan Sleshinsky, aka Jan Sleshinsky, aka Ivan Vladislavovich Sleshinsky, the 23rd of July 1854 to the 9th of March 1931, professor of mathematics and logic. At Krakow also, and later at Lwów, logic studies were conducted by Leon Kwistek (1884–1944), a multifaceted and somewhat eccentric thinker, mathematician, philosopher, esthetician, painter, whose name came to be associated popularly with his concept of plural realities. After Petrazicki's death, the outstanding legal philosopher was Czesław Zinemirowski (1888–1967), professor of philosophy at Poznan. Another leading thinker of the period, active on the borderlines of sociology and philosophy, in both Poland and the United States, was Florian Z. Naniecki .In the interbellum, the philosopher members of the Polish Academy of Learning included Wladyslaw Heinrich (1869–1957), Krakow, Kazimierz Twardowski (1866–1938), Lwów, Leon Petrzycki (1867–1931), Warsaw, and from the following generation. Generation, Konstanty Michalski (1879–1947), Jan Lukasiewicz (1878–1956), and Vladislaw Tatarkovich (1886–1980). Michalski's historical works revolutionized prevailing views on Via Moderna in late medieval philosophy. Lukasiewicz gained world fame with his concept of many-valued logic and is known for his Polish notation. Tatarkovich was the first to prepare in Polish a large-scale comprehensive history of Western philosophy and a history of aesthetics and worked at systematizing the concepts of aesthetics and ethics. After World War II, Roman Ingarden (1893–1970), Tadeusz Katarbinski (1886–1981), and Alfred Tarski became members of the Academy. For some four decades following World War II, in Poland, a disproportionately prominent official role was given to Marxist philosophy. This, and contemporaneous socio-political currents, stimulated Leszek Kolakowski (1927–2009), writing in exile, to publish influential critiques of Marxist theory and communist practice. Kolakowski also wrote a remarkable history of positivist philosophy from Hume to the Vienna Circle. Similarly notable for his critiques of Soviet Marxism was Józef Maria Baczynski (1902–95, OP), a Catholic philosopher of the Dominican Order who lectured in Rome at the Pontifical University of Saint Thomas Aquinas, the Angelicum, and at the University of Freiburg in Switzerland. Baczynski also gained renown for his work in logic and ethics. Other Polish philosophers of the post-war period included Andrzej Zabludowski (1938–2008), a logician and analytic philosopher of world influence, especially in the theory of induction, working at Warsaw University except for a three-decade hiatus beginning in 1968. Marek Siemek (1942–2011), a historian of German transcendental philosophy and recipient of an honorary doctorate from Bonn University, and Jan Walensky (born 1940), a broadly erudite thinker. At at the Jagiellonian University in Krakow, specializing in the history of the Lwów Warsaw School and in analytic philosophy and widely recognized in Poland as an atheist and exponent of replacing religion classes in Polish schools with philosophy classes. Topic see also History of philosophy Polish philosophers List of Poles topic Notes topic References Wladyslaw Tatarkovich, Historia Philosophie History of Philosophy, 3 vols, Warsaw, Panstwo Wydaniktwo Naukow, 1978. Wladyslaw Tatarkovich, Zaryz Geo Philosophy W. Polska, A Brief History of Philosophy in Poland, in the series, Historia Nauki Polskij W. Monographiak, History of Polish Learning in Monographs, Vol. 32, Krakow, Polska Akademia Umijetnosi, Polish Academy of Learning, 1948. This monograph draws from pertinent sections in earlier editions of the author's Historia Philosophy, History of Philosophy. Wladyslaw Tatarkovich, Outline of the History of Philosophy in Poland, translated from the Polish by Christopher Kasparik, The Polish Review, Vol. 18, No. 3, 1973, pp. 73–85. Will Durant, The Age of Faith, A History of Medieval Civilization, Christian, Islamic, and Judaic, from Constantine to Dante, A.D. 325-1300, in the series, The Story of Civilization, New York, Simon & Schuster, 1950. Angus Armitage, The World of Copernicus, New York, Mentor Books, 1951. 
Joseph Kasparik, The Constitutions of Poland and of the United States, Kinships and Genealogy, Miami, American Institute of Polish Culture, 1980. Edward Pichakowski, Bolesław Prus, 2nd edition, Warsaw, Panstwa Wydonictwo Naukow, 1985. Kazimierz Kuratowski, A Half Century of Polish Mathematics, Remembrances and Reflections, Oxford, Pergamon Press, 1973, ISBN 0-08-023046-6. Leszek Kolakowski, Positivist Philosophy from Hume to the Vienna Circle, Penguin Books, 1972. Francesco Caniglione, Nel Segno della Scienza. La Filosofia Polacca del Novecento, Milano, Franco Angeli, 1996. Encyclopedia Pausich Nepon, Pone Universal Encyclopedia, 4 vols, Warsaw, Panstwa Wydonictwo Naukow, 1976. Encyclopedia Polski, Krakow, Wydonictwo Ryszard Kluszczynski, 1996. Polski Slonik Biograficzny. ZNAK, 5, 2005 600, pp. 23-102. External links Drive. Skowronski, Contemporary Polish Philosophy for Foreign Students Polish Philosophy Page